everybody, Jason here from PyQuant News. Today I'm going to show you how to build an options data warehouse with the cutting edge data frame storage database called Arctic DB. Let's get into it. So first we're going to import some of the libraries that we'll need for the analysis. And Arctic DB is available on PIP and Conda. Second step is to actually create a local data store using the lightning fast LMDB protocol. This will actually create a library within the LMDB database. Next, we'll create a helper function that actually reads a bunch of the chains data from the files that we will uh, that will be available to you in the tweet. The next step is to iterate through each one of these options files. We're talking about like 15 years of historic options data. This is daily closing prices. I think there's 2 million records, 2,300,000 records or so like that. Uh, we're going to actually read those data out of the uh, library and it's instantaneous. We just read 2 million plus rows of data into a data frame uh, that looks something like this. Okay, so you can see that this is the Russell 2000 index options historic data, 2,370,886 rows of data in 28 columns. And you saw how lightning fast that is, okay? Uh, you can actually have a look at the data frame itself. Um, this is just a pandas data frame. Here's the columns that we're dealing with. We've got all the Greeks, we've got the volume, pricing, etc. Now we're gonna create what's called a, a filter uh, or a query builder, excuse me. So you can see here that we create the query builder class. And what this allows us to do is filter the data frame before it's loaded into memory. So it uses C++ under the hood to make this lightning fast, uh, and then we actually return the data. And what this is doing is actually filtering the data for a specific expiration date and between uh, a delta, uh, a low delta and a high delta. The next step, we're gonna create another query builder here. Uh, only this time what we're gonna do is look for options that are greater than a certain uh, days to expiration. So in this case, the default is 30 days. And all we're doing here is preparing the data to create a series of uh, implied volatility curves, okay? So we set up, uh, we want the as of date of June 3rd, 2013, uh, the expiration date of the 23rd, uh, 22nd, we're using the RUT symbol, you see the delta, the days to expiration, the delta low and high. So this is our filter criteria. And then we'll just iterate through each one of these sets of data and you can see the chart. So again, this is instantaneous action here that we pulled 2 million plus rows of data out of a local database using the Arctic DB library, hyper fast. It's built by Man Group, which is one of the largest systematic traders in the world. Go check it out. It's open source. It's available for free. I've also written a newsletter article on it as well. So have fun. See you next time.